Good evening guys, uh, this is Douglas again and today I'm gonna show you how to play tomato tuna from our restaurant. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not, I'm not at the restaurant but I already shoot the video so uh, I can explain but obviously I cannot show you. And I'm the person who take a video so it's kind of hard for me to shoot video at the same time and do both at the same time. Anyway, uh, my hash have uh, played it, so while she's plating it, I'm gonna explain it, and hope you like it. So, most important thing, tuna. You must get a very good quality tuna in order to eat raw. And you cut into by size. Later, you're gonna dress it with the seaweed dressing. Uh, seaweed dressing is made from dry seaweed, uh, vinegar, and soy sauce. We blend it very, very uh, hard, so until it almost look like a puree. In that way, uh, when you dress the tuna, it's almost like a glaze. So basically, the, all the dressing is gonna stick, stick into the tuna, and uh, you just rub it up and make sure every single tuna is coated. Then uh, you gotta start prep other garnish: uh, shallot brunoise, brine cucumber rings, fresh mints and basil and alum tomato. So what we do with alum tomato is we peel the skin and we marinate into white kimchi liquid. And after you cut few and you crush them and you mix it with the shallots and we mix it with the olive oil also same time and white kimchi liquid. So it almost becomes like a sort of like a salsa or sauce or tomato sauce. This is the foundation of the sauce. And later we put another chunks of uh, cubed uh, tomato and it becomes more texture. And we actually season more with the white kimchi liquid. So it becomes so sort of like a, a very nice saucy tomato dressing plus like a chunk of tomatoes in there. And we get the ice cold bowl from a freezer and you start assembling. And first you need to put a chunk of alum tomato plus sauce on the bottom. Then you start putting uh, seaweed dressing glazed tuna. And most important thing is, you know, we serve with a spoon. So each layer needs to have every single bite. And uh, we use bright cucumber. Reason being is uh, we want to avoid seasoning later. So the cucumber needs to be have at least a saltness and also a little bit more control. And then same times the Korean people are very good at brining, marinating, things like that. So we uh, try to follow the Korean culture. Uh, you start putting uh, small cherry alum tomatoes and toasted makona almonds, basil, and fresh mints. And finally, uh, we make aioli with the salted uh, seaweed and we finish that to give it a little more richness. And to last, we finish it with a little bit of a white kimchi liquid and a little bit more olive oil to finish. And when we serve to customer, we ask them to use a spoon to enjoy the, all the flavor at the same time. And that's it guys, uh, I know it's not an amazing video, but at least I can show you or explain you how we play the dish at Jeju Nurum Bar. And hopefully you like it and hopefully you see you soon.